So when you walk in, this is what you see. There's this front room. Um, so of course you have a lot to finish in this front room. All of the walls are getting painted. The floor is actually very nice. So we just have to sweep it up, mop it up and all of that. We have to put new like rubber flooring um, in here in the front room. And then we have to finish this wall um, or they said we could take it down, but I think I'm gonna keep it. And then this is the back room where I think all of the production will be happening. Um, and then up here we'll just use for storage. So yeah, the electric is off, so you can't really see. I'll give you guys a better tour soon, but this is the back room. And then back here we have um, like our cleanup area, like sink and water tank and stuff like that. back door anyways yeah so now this front room is clean lastly i'm just going to be spraying where is it this perimeter protection bug spray um just so that there's no critters lurking in here but I wanted to clean before I did that. And this is our paint. It's so, it's the pretty pink. I wanted to do a lighter pink um, so that it doesn't look too dark in here. I want it to look very bright. And if you can't tell, this front room is the only um, space with like a natural light. In the back, um, there's no windows. We have a back door, like a full back door um, for like loading and stuff in the back. But other than that, this is the only window that we have in here. So I don't want it to look too dark. Um, so I picked out this pretty light pink. Um, I didn't even swatch it. I'm so like, I don't know what the right word is. Oh. This scent, I use it at home. I'm just gonna use this to spray down the window seals. And it's kind of weird because there, this area, there's like a big grocery store connected to it. So there's like a lot of foot traffic. And so like people are just walking by, looking at me. Someone walked up to the door to look at like the sign. I don't have like my pretty girl sign up yet, but she like smiled and waved at me. She probably just thinks I'm like a cleaning lady which there's nothing wrong with. I'm in here cleaning since yesterday. Um, but, little do they know, I'm trying to prep my office space and this is probably the biggest project that I've ever done. I've never done like something like this, if that makes sense. I haven't got to this back room yet. It's just as big, if not bigger than this first room. But so far, yeah, this is all prepped. We found runner for this. I don't know if that's the right word, but in the back you can see there's runner, but up front they took it for some reason, the previous tenants, I'm not sure. So we got runner to go along here. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'm gonna head to my other office. Here's like an overview of the room, the front room that I just got clean. I'm still gonna, after I get like all of the dirt, debris, all of the like old like screws and stuff off the floors in here. This is the back room that still needs done. All of that, after I do all of that, then that's when I'm gonna come in here and sterilize everything. I've been looking at steam mops. Um, yeah, 
but I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet. We still have to paint and everything like that, put up this wall. And then I'm gonna come in here and do like a final like deep clean before bringing all of my stuff in here. Um, yeah, so I'll probably see you guys tomorrow's Friday and I'm gonna go get the permit for the electric. Hopefully they have it up and ready on Monday. So I'll either see you guys on Monday or Tuesday. Good morning guys. So I just woke up at probably like 7.40, 7.45. It's currently 7.57. So yeah, I am going to get an electrical permit to get the power turned back on in my building my new retail building but first to clean up my car because there's like a bunch of trash in here mm -hmm. bubble tea wendy's i think i'm about to go get starbucks first because and yeah, so basically, I got the keys after I signed the lease to the new office space and the, like, the realtor or whatever, he sent me all the numbers for the utilities so I can get them cut on. And first, I called to get the electric turned on because, like, we need lights and stuff to get in there and, like, finish cleaning and and start moving stuff in um and when i called them they told me that no one had rented that space out for like over a year so there was no meter there and i've never had that happen i've never had that happen where there's just like no meter there every time i've like tried to turn on electric like a new apartment and stuff like that they've just added my name to the building and turned the electric on and then I like pay monthly. So they told me I had to go through my city um, to get an electrical permit and then to have an electrical inspection and then they would come out and turn my power on. Like that's just so extra, like, you know, but I guess they have to make sure the wiring and everything is okay after a year. So I'm going today. They told me I could get a permit from 7.30 to 3.30 p.m. And so I'm hoping that since I'm going like right when they open, that they can maybe try to get the electrical inspection done today. Um, she said it usually takes about one business day and it's Friday. So I'm not really trying to wait till Monday, but... If I have to, I will, you know. Whatever. And then after that, I'm going to drive. I think it's like 25 minutes to my vendor's warehouse. Um, I mentioned before in my videos that I get my butters and oils, like my main ones, like my shea butter and stuff like that, um, from Bulk Apothecary. Um, and luckily they have a warehouse in Aurora, Ohio, which is like 25 minutes from where I live in Ohio. Um, so that's a blessing because shipping, like I buy everything in bulk. So like my orders are like in the thousands. Shipping is expensive, like expensive because they're heavy items. Like I buy like the Shea Butter by 55 pound boxes. So I'm just blessed that I can pick them up because I'm saving a lot of money on shipping. Um, yeah, every other vendor though, I have to pay shipping. But I'm going to do that. And then I think after that, I'm going to head to my office. Um, not my new office, my um, old office, because I still have like everything there and I'm still packaging orders from there. Um, I don't know what I want to eat. It's like 8 in the morning. I usually come and get a grilled cheese, but it's like 8 in the morning. And it cost me like $93. Like, who wants to do that? 
but these are all of the things that I'm having to do to open up a bigger office space that allows for pickups and maybe um, retail like in the near future. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not the only hiccup that I'm gonna face. I haven't even tried to call and turn on the gas and the water. So I'm gonna do that today. Today is Friday. So I came here early. I woke myself up and came here early because the lady was telling me that it would take the electrician a, a one business day to like come out and inspect the unit. So I was hoping that if I came here early, he might be able to get it done today because it's Friday and I don't really wanna wait till Monday. But he's like booked for all of today. So I have to wait till Monday. So now I am driving to my vendor's warehouse. Here I stopped and got Starbucks. So I got, what did I get? I got an iced chai, like always. Um, and I got soy milk. That's what you're seeing at the bottom. I don't know why their soy milk does that, but. And I got a vanilla bean scone. If you haven't tried them, you should. They're so good. And they're like, they're like mini, like they're called petite vanilla bean scones. I usually order three because Gigi really likes them. So I get them for him. But they're really good and they're like light like sweetness and they're soft yeah so i got one of those um what else did i get oh i got a cheese and fruit tray just because i wanted the apple slices so yeah my skin actually looks really good today I've been scared, so I tried, like, I ordered the Curology thing, and I haven't even opened it yet. Like, I only paid, like, I think $6 in shipping. Like, that was it. Like, you don't have to pay for, like, your first month. But I'm, like, scared to try it because my skin looks like it's trying to clear up. <laughs> and I don't want to fuck it up. I'm not really up around breakfast time. Unless I have, like, something to do that I have to get up. I'm not really up at breakfast time. So I'm not sure like what I'm gonna get to eat. I might just eat these apples and the scone and wait for lunch because all I want right now is a grilled cheese. I'm at a weird spot right now because I'm still working out of my own office, but I'm running out of room for storage. So like I need to start bringing stuff to my new office, but I wanna wait until after we're done painting. And that like everything is like all the way cleaned because yesterday you guys saw me cleaning the front room but the back still hasn't been cleaned yet because there's no electric back there and it's too dark for me to go back and clean but like i need to start storing stuff there so everything is like in my apartment right now i'm just like crowding up the front door Starbucks have the best chai, which they kind of still do. It's kind of, it tastes different now than it did when I was like in high school. But this cafe, their chai is so good. I might stop there on my way back and get another chai. that day it may not be ready right especially if it's a big order 
order? Yeah. Oh. Definitely a big order. That's definitely a workout, but it's better than it's better than paying thousands of dollars to get it delivered. So there's that. So now I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to the new office. I'm just gonna call it the new office and the old office. So the new office is the one that we're moving into. And the old office is the old office. I'm gonna go to the new office and drop some of the stuff off because I'm definitely not carrying this upstairs. So before what would happen, I would, so in our apartment, I don't know if I already said this in this video. Our apartment's on the third floor. And we don't have elevators. So like everything, um, we ran out of space in the old office. So I was having to make everything from home and then transfer it to the old office, package it at the old office, and then take all the packages to the post office. I'm not carrying all of this up three flights of steps anymore that's what we got this new office space for and also at this new office space they allow um package pickups like usps so no more having to load up my car with packages and take them to the post office they'll come pick them up which is like amazing like it's processing is about to be so much faster but i'm gonna i think i'm gonna leave two boxes of shea butter in here and my oils and everything else I'm just going to take into the other office because that should be enough for me to do what I need to do today and we're making good time it's only 9 30 so I'm thinking we're going to make it to the old office around 10 30 and then I'm hoping to have everything done and loaded by 12 and then head to the post office, drop off. Where are they going now? Drop off um, packages and then head back home because I have the stuff that needs made today. So, and Gigi will probably be awake by then. Anywho, so I have all of my oils now, so I can make some lip oils today, finally, because I have like 200 freaking lip oil containers to fill. These are our lip oils, but we recently just changed to like the pink lids. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll insert a picture here. Um, and everyone loves these, like, they've compared them to like high-end lip oils that cost like upwards of $30, and they say that ours are better, so that's like saying something. It took me forever to formulate these the way like that I like, so that they're perfect, and they're infused with nine different oils. Um, a lot of like, even like higher-end oils only have like three. I hired a new designer, so we're having like a mini rebrand. By the time this video is out, I don't know if the rebrand will be in effect, but we're getting a new logo, we're getting new thank you cards and business cards designed, and we're also getting some packaging and box designs done. Um, maybe more, I'm not sure, but I'm excited to see the new logo and stuff like that.
like take risk like with your business or else you won't get anywhere and that's like I feel like the main thing that people don't understand with having a business nothing is gonna be smooth so like you're gonna have losses and you're gonna have wins but at the end of the day like whatever you take from it if you learned a lesson then it's not really a loss <sighs> the hunger is starting to kick in. I still want a grilled cheese. because they're blocking them but my car is full of packages right now even next to me so i'm about to go to the post office drop these off it's 11 49 so i'm kind of right on time where i wanted to be today after dropping these off oh my god it's hot as hell after dropping these off i'm gonna go home and eat some lunch um make sure Gigi is good him and Jay are probably still asleep but yeah I might come back later I'm not sure yet um because I definitely have more packages to package up so
I'm at my office, the new office right now. And look how pretty the pink is for the walls. I didn't want like a dark pink. I wanted like a light pastelish pink because I don't want it to look dark in here. And I want it to look light. I don't want to get these clothes dirty. So hopefully I don't spill anything on myself. But I just kind of want to Be careful, cause like you put too much on it, it's gonna fly. It's thicker than I thought it was gonna be. I wanna see, do you think Lowe's or like Walmart is gonna have battery powered lights? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Y'all wanna try to get stuff done like while we don't have the baby. Hey guys, 
Say hi to YouTube. So anyways, we started painting last night, but my phone had died, so I wasn't, look. So I wasn't um vlogging, but we got this new set. But this is, we got done so far, just the first coat on both of these walls. Jay's about to go through and do the ceiling, like up this part up there. Um, and I'm about to start cleaning the second, like the back part of the office. This part. So this is the front. And then the back part has this huge room. And there is the like cleaning room, like the water tank and the sink and stuff like that. And there's also a bathroom and a bathroom back there. But yeah. Hey guys, so it's currently 10.30 on Friday, October 22nd, and our power is finally on. So I've been trying all week um, to get the electric on. I had to jump through so many hoops with like permits and meters and this and that, but I finally got the electric on. So all of the utilities are on, the electric, the gas, and the water now, so we are officially ready to get in here and finish painting, cleaning, moving stuff in, this and that. So as you can see, um, the front room, we basically have all painted. There's a few spots that we need to go over again and the ceilings. Um, but other than that, the front room is done. Um, I'm in here tonight to paint the back, clean the back, um, fix the top, and also for our unfinished wall, this wall right here, our grass panels came in. So I'm gonna like open this and see like how they're looking and stuff like that. I think we're gonna have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot tomorrow to get a nail gun to put them up. But yeah, you guys can watch me work a little bit tonight. Um, and hopefully I can get this second room, like at least the first coat done in the bathroom and the storage room all cleaned out so yeah I'm gonna take this off because it's the gas is on now so it's kind of hot in here I got some new painting equipment because I was too lazy to clean the thingies that I used last week so I just got new ones and then we got like paint on the floor so they told me to get this at Lowe's. It's called Premium Stripper. It's supposed to remove the, um, paint from the floors. But I'm gonna do a patch test first because I don't want it to lift the color of my like wood tiles. So yeah, I'm gonna lay this down now. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Yes, I'm still wearing the same thing because I just changed back into this. Um, as you can tell, there's like already paint and stuff on this. So I'm just gonna wear this to be safe. Um, front room, front room, okay. Front room is basically done. This is how it looks. Pretty and pink. There's still a spot above the exit sign that I need Jade to get. Um, 
but I'm in love with the pink of the walls. Um, I still have to go over this part and that part again. But other than that, this room is ready to go. I started on the back room yesterday, then I got tired. So I did this wall, which was orange. And then I did the ceiling of this wall. And then I'm not sure what I wanna do with this wall yet or this wall. Oh no, this wall is gonna be pink, but this wall I'm not sure yet because um, this wall right here is getting these bad boys right here, which is um, grass panels. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have Jay do that. I got nails for it, but I forgot my hammer at home. But anyways, yeah, I'm just going to start painting again, I guess. Um, do another coat on this wall and start doing this wall. And I'm getting low on paint as well, so I'll probably have to stop and get another bucket. <laughs> Hey guys, so I haven't been on here in a second. Oh, Jay just got here with the food. But anyways, I finished the two walls in the back and then I still have to figure out what I'm doing with this wall and the long wall. But the front is done as you can see and I'm here setting up our stainless steel tables that got here a few days ago, so yeah. Always was. Okay. Got one woman in your life, too. Mm -hmm. Can you sit in the front room, baby? Can you sit in the front room? Probably. 